A top Southwest Airlines executive told Congress change is on the way. This after the company's holiday meltdown canceled more than 15,000 flights. Our Washington correspondent Jesse Chenner now reports on what improvements passengers could see soon. Let me be clear. We messed up. The chief operating officer of Southwest Airlines told senators Thursday his company takes responsibility for the disastrous holiday meltdown that stranded hundreds of thousands of its customers. Other airlines uh, were able to handle the winter weather and we were not. COO Andrew Watterson said Southwest has budgeted $1.3 billion to update its technology. A fix is coming on Friday for the crew scheduling system that contributed to the problem. But Watterson said correcting the root cause of the meltdown, winter operations like de-ice will take more time. There's lots of work and lots of expenditures we expect to prevent this from happening again, and that will be the bulk of the effort. Watterson expects his company to release more information on that project next month, but many pilots in the hearing say Southwest should have addressed these issues years ago. We've been the whistleblowers on, on this. We've watched this progress and seen these meltdowns occur. Captain Casey Murray, the president of the Southwest Airlines Pilots Association, told senators the airline's management didn't listen. We've gotten very little traction in, in that regard. Congress has ideas of its own for the air travel industry, like forming a task force to recommend ways to prevent future outages and regulating prices and fees. But no matter where those bills land, lawmakers agree the Southwest meltdown can't happen again. Can't really be reimbursed for uh, the time and frustration of being in that unacceptable situation. In Washington, I'm Jesse Tenor.